Joshua explains autism spectrum disorder in full. Do you want to understand autism or learn about autism? Okay, I have a question. Neurological problems result from injury or changes to the functioning of the brain, spine, or nerves. The term neurological comes from neurology, the branch of medicine that deals with problems affecting the nervous system. So does neurological link to autism? Yes, of course. Okay, let's understand more about autism. Autistic people are describing what autism is really like for them and what they wish everyone knew about autism living with autism can feel like a bit of a roller coaster. You may feel easily overwhelmed by sensory inputs, and at times, the world can feel like a chaotic place. Having autism can feel like sensory overload. One day you might be feeling confident and the next day you might be struggling to leave the house because you're scared and anxious. People with autism can have a difficult time ignoring sounds or other stimuli that the average person may just block out. For example, an autistic child may feel disorientated, confused, and overwhelmed in a crowded setting. The sound of traffic, many people talking at once, or bright lights can cause a rush of sensory overload that can trigger anxiety and outbursts in an autistic individual. On the flip side, autistic people are able to concentrate very well on something they love. They can become incredibly absorbed in their interests. Their hobbies give them a great deal of meaning in life, and for some people, their favorite pastime may even seem like an obsession. To help those, pay attention to the person's emotions and body language. When people on the autism spectrum find themselves in a new social situation, it can be stressful. People who are high-functioning or don't look or act autistic are still having a hard time. A lot of us do this thing called masking, where we basically act as if we are neurotypical based on the stuff we learn from others. It is very exhausting to keep up that fake persona. Ever hear of the game called Mao? It's very similar to Uno, but it has rules you can't know about. The only rule that you can explain to others is this one. Every time you break a rule, you get another card. It's up to you to figure out the rules, by trial and error again and again. Plus, each person introducing their group to Mao may have their own version of the rules, as everything is made up by the one who knows how to play the game. That was the entirety of my childhood. I'm not staring. I'm actually completely dissociating from my vision. I'm not looking at you, that thing, or anything. That's just where my eyes happened to be pointing when I went inside. I also dissociate from my vision whenever I am actively listening. I wish people knew that not everyone with autism seems autistic, but that doesn't mean they don't struggle or don't have autism. Blending in, even though it may seem beneficial, just makes it worse for me because when you don't seem like you're struggling, it's harder to get help. And when you do an autistic thing, people might think you're a freak. It's not that I want to come off some way, angry or sad or whatever. It just doesn't come out right a lot of the time. It's like being tone deaf and trying to sing a song you know. You hear it, you know what song it is, but you try to sing it, and it's just incomprehensible. Often treating autism means treating the symptoms. You learn how to make eye contact. You constantly pay attention. You expose yourself to uncomfortable situations. The more you manage to mask your autism, the better people think you are doing. However, like any person working too hard, this can lead to burnout. Like any burnout, our skills are then reduced. From the outside, we might then get a lot of shit because we suddenly stop making eye contact or talking normally. Adults have autism, too. Seemingly, all services for autism are for children. It's ridiculously difficult for me to get and keep a job because of it, among other things, and that fact is usually overlooked. We have feelings. We have empathy. You don't look autistic is not a compliment. Telling us everyone is a little autistic doesn't help. Many people with autism rely on routines. Personally, routines help me know what is coming and plan things in my head for what possibilities may occur. I can't predict everything, but I can try to work out things that I think might happen and potential responses. However, this doesn't prevent me from thinking of what I should have said when I am trying to fall asleep at 3 a.m. and obsessing about it, just like a non-disabled person something I wish my teachers knew when I was growing up. 
Me avoiding eye contact doesn't mean I did whatever they accused me of, nor does it mean I don't feel sorry, and it's certainly not meant to be disrespectful. It's just that I don't do well with eye contact. Autism spectrum disorder is a developmental disability caused by differences in the brain. People with ASD often have problems with social communication and interaction and restricted or repetitive behaviors or interests. People with ASD may also have different ways of learning, moving, or paying attention. We know that there is not one type of autism, but many. Autism looks different for everyone, and each person with autism has a distinct set of strengths and challenges. Some autistic people can speak, while others are nonverbal or minimally verbal and communicate in other ways. Some have intellectual disabilities, while some do not. Some require significant support in their daily lives, while others need less support and, in some cases, live entirely independently. Many people with autism experience other medical, behavioral, or mental health issues that affect their quality of life. Among the most common co-occurring conditions are attention deficit hyperactivity disorder anxiety and depression gastrointestinal disorder seizures and sleep disorders sorry is that too far or you're just simply not understanding? Come on autism spectrum disorder is a developmental disability caused by differences in the brain. People with ASD often have problems with social communication and interaction and restricted or repetitive behaviors or interests. People with ASD may also have different ways of learning, moving, or paying attention. Anybody can be autistic, regardless of sex, age, race, or ethnicity. However, research from the JXLTD24 says that boys get diagnosed with autism four times more often than girls. According to the DSM-5TR, the Diagnostic Manual for ASD, autism may look different in girls and boys. Girls may have more subtle presentation of symptoms, fewer social and communication challenges, and fewer repetitive behaviors. Their symptoms may go unrecognized by doctors, often leading to underdiagnosis or misdiagnosis. Getting a diagnosis is also harder for autistic adults, who often learn to mask or hide their autism symptoms. Autism is a lifelong condition, and an autistic person's needs, strengths, and challenges may change over time. As they transition through life stages, they may need different types of support and accommodations. Early intervention and therapies can make a big difference in a person's skills and outcomes later in life. It's mad when we talk about there is no one type of autism, but many. So you have concerns about how your child is communicating, interacting, or behaving, you are probably wondering what to do next. This toolkit offers resources to help guide you on the journey from your first concern to action. Contact JXLTD24 Education System or jxltd.pm.me for a full free guide.